time that we reclaim our moral authority. And if there's a voice, if there's a voice for moral authority in this country today, he's sitting behind me. Yeah. So let's Just a little while ago, Bill Delahunt and I were up uh, in uh, Provincetown, and we were walking along the uh, street going into a, uh, a nice uh, event, gathering people, and someone grabbed a hold of my hand, and they said, did anyone ever tell you you look like Ted Kennedy? <laughs> and I said, uh, yes, they, they have. And they said, must make you mad as hell. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here with all of you. I'm glad to be here with all of you. I am uh, also, as Bill uh, has been pushing his candidacy, I'm on that ballot too, you know. <laughs> and uh, people have asked me, I said, I, I run the way that Fritz Hollins, he was from South Carolina, he was a southern, big southern senator, and they said, how are you running, Fritz Hollins? He said, I'm running hard, and I'm running scared, and I'm running unopposed. <laughs> but I've got an opponent, and we're looking forward to discussing uh, the issues with him on at ECN sometime. Let me just, uh, let me just, let me just, just very, very quickly. Thank you, until I said in January. Uh, well, that's when you're going to be plowing my brows down here. <laughs> let me, let me thank all of you for coming and Robert, and, and let me just uh, uh, thank, first of all, I thank Bobby Haynes. You know, Bobby Haynes was talking about the minimum wage, and I care passionately about it. I think it's a uh, for, for many different reasons, but I really applaud uh, labor because uh, the AFL-CIO, all of their unions get paid a good deal more than the minimum wage, and yet uh, they have always put this right up at the top of the list of, of things that are important because they understand and respect the fact that work ought to pay uh, in America, and that uh, we have now seen uh, the Congress raise its salary nine times, but we haven't raised uh, the salary of the hardest working people at the lowest uh, level, uh, uh, rung of the economic ladder, and that has been absolutely wrong. It's a women's issue because so many women earn the minimum wage. It's a children's issue because so many of those women have children. Uh, it's a basically a civil rights issue because so many men and women of color earn the minimum wage. And it's a, uh, it, it's a fairness issue. And the one thing that people understand is if you're going to work 40 hours a week or 52 weeks of the year in the strongest, richest country in the world, you shouldn't live in poverty. And Americans understand that. <laughs> Let me thank you. What we were basically talking about is uh, all of us working and working together. Uh, I can tell you as being honored to represent you in the uh, United States Senate, when we have a Democratic governor along with a Democratic Congress, and we have Democratic legislators and a Democratic Council on this, and we're all in harmony on the issues of what B Bill has mentioned, whether it's the education of our children, the health care, or good jobs, or the environment, whatever these issues may be. When we're all working together, that is when progress is made. And that's why we are here today. That is what this headquarters is about. We are interested in all working together in common issue, in common purpose, in a common direction, and that is what uh, today is really about and what we're all going to work on uh, for the remaining days of this, uh, of this campaign. So I thank you for all coming on. We're all going to work together. Uh, we're a true uh, strength uh, in unity, and that's what we have, and I thank all of you for that. Let me just say uh, on uh, a defining uh, kind of issue, and, and Bill has uh, really touched on the issues today. We, we're up at uh, Truro, Massachusetts. We're working with a, a number of the people up there about to expanding and preserving the Cape Cod Seashore uh, Park. We have a remarkable opportunity to do that. Then we were down in Wealthy uh, to preserve the Herring River uh, to do something about that. We've got very good local community involvement, local community activity, and we talk and we listen to what Al Gore talks about 
the whole uh, global environment. We have the opportunities to do things here at home, here in Massachusetts. And we met some wonderful people today that are doing their share, that are asking for partnership here in the state and in the Congress and, and the Senate. And Bill Delahunt and I are going to do everything we possibly can in these areas and so many other areas that people here in this community care about. And we thank you for your involvement and thank you for your caring. But let me just finally uh, say a word about what I think this election is really all about. It's really the difference between the politics of hope and the politics of fear. The politics of hope and the politics of fear. When I first was honored to represent you in the United States Senate, we had a new generation of Americans, basically had been tested in World War II, came on into the Congress, came on into the executive branch, were able to restrain uh, the expansion of Soviet, uh, Soviet communism and start us down the pathway towards control of nuclear weaponry. And then they turn around and said, what do we have to do back home? Well, we have to take on the fact that this nation has never responded uh, to the kind of discrimination that we've had in this country on the basis of race. And we passed the 64 and 65 Act. And we said we've also find we haven't done what we should with regard to discrimination against women. And we passed Title IX to make sure that women were going to be a part of our whole march towards progress. And then we passed the Americans with Disability Act to make sure that those that had some forms of disability were also going to be a part of the American fa family. In the meantime, we said our test of our society is going to be how we treat our elderly people, and we passed Medicare. And we said we're going to look out after the neediest of our people, and we passed Medicaid, and we also went to the room, moon, at the same, uh, at the same time. That was the America of hope. That was the America of hope. That is your America. That is Bob O'Leary. That's Bill Delahunt. That's my America. And now we have the politics of fear. Now we have the politics uh, of, of, of fear. We have those that have the politics of destruction, division. We see the assaults that are made upon uh, political leaders, like on Max Cleland, who left three of his limbs over in Vietnam, and he is un-American. And we have seen the Congress tied up this last summer for weeks and months, so we debated flag burning. Flag burning is a problem. Flag burning is a problem uh, here on Cape Cod. Then we had the great debate about changing the Constitution with regards to the gay marriage. The Republicans knew there was no chance that that was going to happen in the United States Senate, but they're looking for wedge issues. They're looking for issues of fear and separation and division. That's not what this country is about. And we are going to reject that, and we're going to reject it here on the election day. There is nothing more important. We need to retake our country, and this is a chance to do it. Thank you very much.